f of x is equal to x squared determine the minimum distance between the point uh, 10 and 2 and a point on f it will be a really painful exercise if we calculate the distance between every point on f and uh, this point that we given right instead let's do it for the function as a whole instead of doing uh point by point because we'll never really reach to the end right so if we do it for the function itself uh, we can see that the distance is equal to uh, we know fully well y2 minus y1 uh, squared uh, plus x2 minus x1 squared distance from the right grade 10 nothing complicated so now uh, our distance will be equals to uh, so we have y2 now this is where it gets complicated right what is y2 and which one is y1 obviously we have our point here that is given to us right it's easy to see that uh, we can make this uh, 10 be x1 and let the 2 be y1 and then for x2 and y2 we're going to use the function itself because for every point on the function f of x right we're going to have some coordinate x and the corresponding y value x squared right that is what this function is essentially doing right so if we substitute that in our function uh, so let's let this be uh, x2 and let this be y2 so if we substitute this in our function we're gonna get x squared minus uh, y1 which is 2 and then we square everything plus x2 x2 is x and then minus x1 which is 10 and then we square everything right if you've been watching my videos you know fully well that i don't like uh, square rules fractions and all that right so i'm just going to square both sides so that i don't have to deal with the square root if i do that i'm gonna get uh, the distance squared being equals to uh, x squared minus 2 squared plus x minus 10 squared right so now you can see that uh, it's much easier to digest right but then the brilliant thing about distance is that if the distance uh, from a to b is greater than the distance from c to d right even if you compare the squared distances the distance between c and d will still be greater so instead of using the distance we can just use distance squared because it makes our life more simple right so let's just go ahead and use uh, distance squared because we are all agreeing that uh, it makes our life simple if i go ahead and simplify this i'm going to get d squared is equals to x squared by x squared that will the x to the power 4 right and then minus 2 multiplied by x squared that will be minus 2x squared you multiply that by 2 you get uh, minus 4x to the 2 and then minus 2 multiplied by minus 2 plus 4 then x by x that will be x squared and then minus 10 by x minus 10 multiply that by 2 you get minus 20x and then uh, 10 by 10 that's 100 right so now we have d squared being equals to x to the 4 uh, x to the 4 x to the 4 uh, minus 3x squared and then minus 20x plus 104 so now uh, we have our equation for distance squared right uh, but then we don't want just the equation for distance squared we want the minimum distance between a point on the function and our point uh, 10 and 2 right so the way we are going to do this if we derivate distance squared and equate to 0 uh, then that value of x that we're going to determine is going to be the value of x on the point that gives us the minimum distance and then after that we're going to calculate the minimum distance so let me go ahead and uh, derivate this so if i derivate this so i'm saying the derivative of uh, distance squared will be equals to x to the 4 we just apply the power rule so that will be 4x to the 3 and then minus 6x minus 20 are uh, we equating it to 0 right uh, we want the point that will give us the minimum distance so now all we have to do is to solve this uh, equation here and we have the value of x of that point and with the value of x of that point we can substitute it in our distance formula and consequently find the minimum distance between the point and um, a point on f right 
So when we solve something like this, we always going to have a uh, bracket here that a that says x plus uh, some number k, right? Multiply by a quadratic function being equals to zero, right? So the way you solve this, you start with this bracket here, right? You use trial and error and try a few values until you get zero, right? After you solve this bracket here, it becomes easy to find uh, this other bracket. So let's go ahead and try a few values and see which value that uh, when we substitute in this equation we're gonna get zero right because if we substitute that value and we get zero then we know that uh, that value is a factor of this equation so i'm gonna uh, try zero one two and minus one and minus two right uh, so let me try uh zero so if i try zero then uh, let me just substitute in uh, real quick. If I try zero, uh, I'm getting minus 20 if I try zero, right? Obviously, uh, let me try one and see what I get. If I substitute one in that equation, I get minus 22. Let me try minus one. If I try minus one, uh, I get minus 18. That's not what we want. Let me try minus 2. If I try minus 2, I'm getting uh, minus 40. So let me just try 2. And then uh, when I try 2, I get 0, right? So I know that when x is equal to true, uh, this equation here, uh, it holds, right? 4x to the 3 minus 6x minus 20 will be equals to 0 when x is equals to 2, right? So when x is equals to 2, that's exactly where we have our minimum, right? But the good part about all of this is that we can actually verify and see if we get our minimum when x is equals to 2, right? We can substitute uh, x is equals to 2 on this distance formula here that we started with right and then we can substitute 2.1 and substitute 1.9 right because if we substitute a value that is slightly above 2 and a value that is slightly below 2 and all those two values give us a bigger distance than when we substitute 2 then 2 is the value we are looking for so let's go ahead and substitute 2 so if we substitute 2 on the distance formula uh, we're gonna get uh, d uh, when when we substitute 2 right uh, when x is equal to 2 when you substitute 2 we're gonna get d is equal to uh, the square root of uh, the square root of what the square root of x squared minus 2 squared plus uh, x minus 10 squared right so let me uh, substitute 2 and see what i get when i substitute 2 i'm getting a distance of 8.24 uh, units right now uh, let me substitute uh, 2.1 uh, when i substitute 2.1 uh, i'm getting 8.24 2.6 units, right? Uh, so you can see that when uh, x is equal to 2.1, we get in a higher value. And when I substitute uh, x is equal to 1.9, I get a distance of 8.26 again. Now we can see that uh, when x is equal to 2, our distance is 8.24 units and that's the minimum distance between uh, the point and the function uh, so what you can do if you want to verify this you can take any other uh, value of x right and then you substitute it in the equation for the distance and see if you get any number that is less than 8.25